make those plays. You bust it out the front, amazing. 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 Great shot. It was beautiful. I grew up around horses. Uh, I've always loved horses. And I grew to love the sport of polo uh, through my passion for horses. And it really is my, my life's passion is to have take horses, give them a career in polo, teach them, uh, train them, and I love being around them. Uh, I love every facet of the barn life with horses. Do not rush yourself. These kids will not hook you. What they do is they wait for you to hit it once and then they take you and then they want to play the ball to the right. Yeah. Okay? So they don't hook. We've already picked up like two or three fouls from them turning, you see. So just, you get this ball here, get your arm ready and back early. Okay? Okay? Early. And when you think it's too early, it's just right. I, I think it might just be a little bit hot to double today. Manny, Manny and Fiat with, with the Spurs. Yes. My, my father played polo as a hobby, and he loved the horses, he loved the sport, he loved the, the way that the sport is, the adrenaline, the team, the camaraderie, you know, everything that goes into it from, the, from all aspects, you know, from the, the guys that work here at the farm, to take care of the horses every morning, uh, he loved all that, so I, I guess I grew to love that passion. Good chucker, good chucker. How was he? Good, good right? Yeah. Okay. Like the left, there you go. Well done, Mike. Well done. Talk to, you know, I gotta talk to Zubia here to get him to slow down a little bit and use you a little bit more. I gotta talk to Zubia here a little bit and get him to slow down and stop and send you and talk to you. Zubia. So, I mean, it's a, it's a real job. It's a 24 hour a day job. And if you, you know, want to be successful, I, I think, I guess at anything in life, you have to really put your heart and soul into it. So stay here, come quick, start with Zubia here. And as he knocks it and this guy comes, don't make contact. You just come here and get close. Two or three yards. And then tell Zubia, right, left, wherever you want it, it's your ball. My typical day is wake up in the morning. <laughs> we, depending on you know our game schedules, uh, changes. But we try to do team gym uh, to start the day, light or heavy workout, depending on if we have a game the next day, a game that day, whatever. We try to go and warm up and get fluid. The mornings of games, I've been trying to go in the morning and ride one horse just to get fluid, get moving, get my body moving, get my, my hand-eye going. And it seems to have been doing really well for me. So I, I, it's a new thing that I started this year, was coming the morning of the game very early and riding one horse to get, to get in rhythm and get focused. And then from there, uh, typical day, come to the barn after the gym, check on the horses, spend some time with the guys, making sure that, you know, this one was not eating a lot, that one was eating too much, that one was, you know, this one feels fresh, that one feels tired, this one. So we talk about every horse to check in to make sure that how everybody's feeling. And then probably get together with the team, either go have lunch with the team, go 
you know, just chat how we're going to do things. Maybe we watch a video of the game from before. And then maybe go watch a game together of the competition that we have to play against. As an American, I have a lot. Um, most American polo players probably don't have as many horses as I have. I, I try to keep around 40. Um, but that's in relation to what my friends from Argentina have. It's, that's very few. Because uh, they breed, they, you know, uh, so when they start breeding, they end up collecting a lot of horses very quickly because they, you know, do 40 embryos a year, which, you know, that's 40 horses a year on the ground or 50 embryos a year, all of a sudden, year four, you have 200 horses. So a few of my friends have <clears throat> like six, 700 horses. Watching Nick Roll Dan, America's top player, doing a little show for us in Palm Beach, Florida. As we're watching Nick, he's exhibiting some skills. playing against Nick and we've been best friends for a long time since we were young. I, uh, we met here in, in West Palm Beach. Uh, I think we were like 11 and 12. It's one of the toughest games is when we play against each other I feel like because we both know each other so well on and off the field that we end up really going to the extreme. I got introduced to the brand um, through Mike Davis um, and Chris Campson. Uh, you know, my initial thought was, I mean, it's beautiful clothing. It's very, it, it, you know, it's well fit, um, and you know, it's just, it's a great product. And uh, I think, I think in, in, in polo, there's, a, there's, a, there's an opportunity for, for, a, for a brand, especially in, in the fashion line, um, to come up. And I think Cavalier Toscana is, is a perfect fit. And uh, I think the materials that they use, and, and the and the quality, and and the style of the, of the brand is beautiful. Um, I think it's timeless. And uh, you know, when I got approached to to to, to be uh, to work with them, I you know, I didn't I didn't have um, I didn't have a, I didn't have a doubt. You know, I thought it was I thought I think it's a great brand, and uh, and, it, and it's perfect for for polo. I grew up with Chris, you know, I, I've, I've known Chris since I was, you know, 10 years old. I mean, we've been playing, or even younger, you know, we've been playing kids polo since we were little kids. And, you know, we've grown, you know, as we've moved up in the ranks, we've, uh, you know, we've lived together. And so I've known Chris a long time. He's a great friend, um, a dear friend. His family are very, all, we're all very close. And, uh, you know, and he's, uh, he's also a very successful polo player. And, you know, polo is a small world, so. Um, you know, we've 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 grown, we've spent a lot of time together, and and he's a great he's a great guy and a great polo player. Polo careers is a very it's a, for me it's one probably one of the most difficult sports that I've played. Um, so, you know, when you ask me what what do I want to improve, I think every day you know you you try to improve something different. Um, horses is something that's very important in the sport of polo. I mean, the best teams, I mean, the, the teams that win are the teams that have the best horses. The players that win are the, are the players that have the best horses. So, uh, you know, every day we're, we're trying, I'm trying to, you know, improve my string and try to better, um, and to try to better myself and better, as, a, as, as a player as well. Um, like I said, it's very competitive and there's a lot of new and up and coming polo players, both here in the United States and in, and in Argentina and all over the world. So. Uh, you know, it's it's a tough sport, and uh, you know, but you know, it's also some. It's it's my passion. It's what I love to do, and I love being around horses. And for me, this is this is this is my life. My life is horses, and being around the farm, and and spending time, and trying to improve my string, and trying to improve my polo. And you know, I'm at a point in my life where um, you know I feel like I'm starting to you know the next the next important years. 
in the next sort of five to you know six years are going to be very important for me and and um, you know I'm just trying to improve uh, you know most importantly is my horses horses and and, and and the performance every year you have a great memory um, but you know I've been luckily I mean I, I became professional at 15 and um, you know winning the US Open at 15 years old was probably one of the highlights of my career um, you know I've won a lot of you know I've won a lot of tournaments around the world and, uh, and polos brought me to a bunch of beautiful places around the world which is you know an amazing experience and you know I've been doing this since I've been your, since I was 15 years old so it's 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 a great experience I met a lot of great people and you know I feel like uh, every year you have a great memory so um, and that's what polo brings to to me and to my family and and to the, to life here in Wellington I'm, I'm here because I'm a professional polo player and I'm trying to promote the brand uh, for performance-wise. But, uh, you know, like I said in the, in the beginning, also it's, it's a beautiful brand in itself. Um, and it's a great fashion brand. I mean, they've got, a, they've got great styles, unique styles, um, great fits and, and beautiful materials. Um, and I think, you know, they, they, you know they, they use the brand in the right way and they piece it all together where, uh, you know, a lot of the pieces that they have are timeless. And, very comfortable and great. That was beautiful. You do good work. What's your name? She's a beauty. <laughs>